everyone. Um, so today I want to show you how to um, take your image um, and turn it in. So let's get started. Um, let me close this up. Well, first of all, um, what you're going to want to do when you have your image done and you have your clear point of interest is go to Window, Artboards, okay? And I happen to have a lot of artboards online, as you can see. Um, but there's clearly one that I'm going to be turning in. So don't worry if you have extra artboards. But I'm going to be concentrating on artboard one. And you know it's the right artboard because when you click on it, it highlights your image. OK. So next thing you're going to do is come over to the side where you see this little symbol and double click on it. And this should pop up. It says artboard options. If it doesn't show up, click on these three little lines and just go to artboard options there. Same, same exact thing. Here's what's important. Um, you need to change the dimensions of your image to either 8 by 10 or 10 by 8 inches. Um, so that's our aspect ratio. So I'm going to do that with mine and say OK. And um, as you can see, it, it truncated my image. There was more, more. It, you know, it's, it was longer before and shorter be before that or longer up here. Um, in my particular case, I don't mind how it changed it. You, if it does change it, like let's say like, let me, uh, bring this artboard, move it for a second if I can. Here's my artboard tool. So if I take my artboard and happen to like move it down, so like it cut it off like this, and it was still 8 by 10 when I did that, then I'd probably want to, you know, take my elements of my, of my actual artwork and like move them around. So maybe I'm going to move this butterfly down, you know, do something like that. Um, it depends on, on what happened with you. But for me, um, let me move this back to 8 by 10, make sure that's the right dimension. Um, I'm OK with it looking like this. That doesn't bother me at all. So now that I have that set up, I'm ready to save this. So first of all, I'm going to save my work as an Illustrator file. And then I'm going to, once I have that done, la la la, <laughs> go to File. File export. Okay, and here's where it's important. You're going to go to export as, and this pops up. And um, I'm going to call mine first name, last name, symmetry, and I'm going to save it as a JPEG. And I'm going to click use artboards. And when this comes up, I don't want to save artboards one through seven. I just want the first one. So I'm going to say range. And I'm going to say one to one. You know, so if you're on artboard two or artboard three, say three to three. So that should just be one artboard there. Um, and make sure you click use artboards. So then you hit export. So this pops up. Your color model should be a CMYK color model. And you want it to be at um, 300 PPI. That's very important. And you're going to say OK. And I already have an image that exists there. That's an older one. I'm going to go ahead and replace it. And I'm almost done. Um, somewhere on the website and I'm going to have to go to the right place. I've got way too much stuff open here. So if I go back to graphic design for our class and I can click on hopefully today's date. Yeah. Um, so I would go to the correct folder and then I would just go ahead and upload the image to this folder. So new file upload and then I happen to know that this was on my desktop in period seven. There it is. And I say open. And you want to make sure that when I have another one in there, so I'm going to click keep a separate file. You know, just double check, make sure. I would click on it and make sure it looks good when you're all done. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. If drive lets me, looks like it's, I have a little bit of a delay there. Hmm. Well, anyway, you get the idea, and then you would just go ahead and open it. I'm having some issues right now with Drive in general. It's not opening up anything, and then you're done.